Hey guys, welcome to Instant Film Friday, where I talk about instant photography, photography in general, camera reviews, that kind of stuff. So if that's something you guys are into, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and turn on bell notifications so you guys don't miss my weekly episodes. Today's just going to be a quick unboxing video of something that I've wanted for quite some time. For any of you that don't know, a lot of the folding SX-70s don't come with a flash and that poses an issue especially shooting indoors and in low light situations and you can actually get flash bars disposable flash bars a lot of them are vintage there are companies that still make them but what i'm going to unbox today is the mint flash bar 2 mint camera company actually created this as a solution to not having a flash bar on your sx70 I've wanted one for quite some time and just haven't gotten around to it. I actually got a good deal on this one, so I picked it up. Let's get into this. So it's going to come in just a simple kind of box. There's a little information on it on the side, which says Mint Flash Bar 2 for Polaroid SX70 cameras. Mint Flash Bar 2 is a reusable, high quality electronic flash bar device for all Polaroid folding and box type XS70 cameras and optimized for use with Polaroid film. The special ND compensation mode allows for usage of film for 600 type cameras. User manual included, powered by two triple A's which are included, delivered with colored filters in hot pink and chartreuse, which I will show you in a sec. And it says attach external flash through 2.5 millimeter audio jack, which is not included. So that is one of the reasons why I wanted to pick this up. That's actually what it looks like. I wanted to pick it up because I want to try shooting some 600 film out of my SX-70 camera. This happens to be black and white. That is what I'm going to put into it to shoot. But my main focus of getting this was for that. But also because shooting your SX-70 in low light situations is always a good thing. So you just take the cover off and on the inside, you're gonna have some batteries. They actually go with Energizer, which is awesome, using name brand batteries. And the flash bar is gonna look like that. On the back, there are three symbols, the on and off symbol, a half circle, and then a full circle. So what you're supposed to do is when you use 600 film, you put it on the half circle. And then when you use SX-70 film, you put it on the full circle and that denotes the flash brightness. And then there is a test button right here, which you can press to test if the flash is working. So I'm gonna open up the battery compartment on the side and toss these triple A's in. So you're just going to follow the instructions to make sure the batteries are on the right way. And then when you turn it on, a light is going to be blue. And then when it charges up, let's see if it charges up quickly. It will change colors, supposedly. Anytime flash bar. It takes a little bit for it to charge up. Still blue. There is actually a symbol down at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that with a little circle that denotes that it's charging. And then there's a little light at the top which will turn on when the flash is completely charged. So I'm gonna give this a couple seconds. Throw that out. I totally missed my trash can. <laughs> Anyways, still charging. Do 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 do. I don't hear anything. I'm assuming, oop, there it goes. It just changed from blue to this other color. And when I hit the button, oof, <laughs> that was at half level and that was a test fire. So we know it works. And as you can see, the color changed back and it's quicker to charge because I had used it. So basically it fits on your SX-70 like that. And boy, does that look sleek. It's not going to let me hit the button because there's no film in this camera. Um, but I will hit the test button again. Wow, it is pretty bright. So I'm excited to get to use this. Like I said, I am going to 
put some black and white 600 film in this and then definitely do a follow-up video but i want to show you that it's on there pretty securely and when you close your camera it actually folds down into a slim form factor that complements the camera i would not leave it on there long term in case you accidentally knock it and break the camera but before i end this video i want to show you the two colored filters you get so you get chartreuse and hot pink and what you do if you want to use them which i probably won't is they're just magnetized right on to the flash itself and theoretically if you wanted to you could use both to give it a different kind of color so there's that like i said i'm going to put some 600 film in this and try it out and then i'll do another video so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think of the mint flash bar 2 in the comment section down below let me know if you guys have one how you guys like it definitely leave me comments i like chatting with you guys thanks for so much for watching and i'll talk to you next week bye